Hello everybody, welcome to your second Adobe Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford, and I've been working with you guys on the past couple Adobe uh, tutorials. I uh, did CS or uh, After Effects CS6 and Photoshop CS6. So now I'm on to Illustrator. So today in the tutorial, we're going to learn about the uh, Illustrator CS6 system requirements. And I'm going to set you guys up to get started so you can follow along with the tutorials a little bit better. So first of all, let's go over the system requirements. I'm going to bring a file over, or a, uh, a page over. And you can find this in the Adobe Help. And um, Illustrator has some minimum requirements. They're not too high, but you pretty much uh, you need to follow these so that it'll work, it will work correctly. So if you're trying to use like an old ass laptop or something like that, it's not going to, uh, Illustrator CS6 isn't even going to work. So make sure you have some of these things. So for Windows, you're going to need the uh, Intel Pentium 4 or the Athlon 64 for AMD. For Macintosh, you're just going to need a uh, the 64-bit uh, Intel-based multi-core. And um, pretty much all you really need, you need uh, 2 gigs of hard drive space. You need uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM for the 32-bit uh, and 2 gigabytes of RAM for the 64-bit. But 8, gigabit, 8 gigabits is uh, recommended for using this program because it'll make it run a lot faster. Now, you want to use, uh, you want to have a pretty good monitor and you want it to be in HD. You're going to need a 16-bit graphics card. And uh, those are pretty much what you really need to get into this. Um, I can't really think of anything else that you, uh, you absolutely need. So there's uh, a couple of things that you uh, might want to know when you're working in uh, Illustrator. The first thing is that Illustrator has a preferences file. And it, you can find that if you go to edit preferences. This isn't the file, but these are where the preferences are. Now I can go over these for you, but these are all the default preferences. And the quickest way to do that, to get the default preferences, so that they'll be like exactly like mine and you'll see everything like I have here, is to go into your preferences file on your computer and delete it. And the way you could do that, and I pulled up another page, this is also on the Adobe uh, help page. If you go to Illustrator CS6, this is where your uh, preferences files are going to be for these different uh, computer, uh, different uh, OSs here. So this is where you look, and you go into here, and you ex out of uh, you close out Adobe Illustrator, and then you delete the preferences file. This is uh, for if you already have messed with the preferences, and then you start Adobe Illustrator again, and it'll automatically bring in a new preferences file that you can use and it will be the defaults. So that's how you reset the defaults for the Illustrator CS6. And I think that's been up long enough. Another thing that I wanted to go over was the different um, types of Illustrator that we've got here. We've got a 32-bit and a 64-bit mode for Illustrator. And the 32-bit and 64-bit refer to a way that the computer processes information, the CPU more precisely. And um, let's see if I can go into mine. Here we go. If you look up here, we've got Illustrator CS6. That's just the regular. And that's the 32-bit. And then you got Illustrator CS6 64-bit. Now, a 64-bit system, it handles RAM more efficiently. And what it does is it, if you have more than four gigabytes of RAM, four or more, then it's going to be able to use that. When you have, when you're using the 32-bit, when you start going over that amount of RAM, it's going to swap to the hard drive, and that decreases your performance. So if you can go use, go ahead and use the 64-bit mode. Another thing that you need to be aware of when you're using the 64-bit or 30, or when you're using the 64-bit mode is that. Any plugins that you, you you were using before, if they were in the 32-bit mode, they're not going to work in the 64-bit mode. So there's a little trade-off there. And sometimes 
companies or people make plugins that only work on the 32-bit uh, mode. Not sure why they don't have it made them for both, but that's just a trade-off that you need to use. I mean, it doesn't increase performance drastically where you're going to go down to a snail's pace or anything like that, but you can uh, definitely tell uh, when you get into larger projects that have a lot more stuff. You don't have to uh, like wait as long for stuff to load and things like that. So in short, a little recap of what I just went over. Um, I went over the system requirements. Uh, you need to have the uh, Intel Pentium 4 or AMD Athlon 64 if you're on Windows or the multi-core Intel, Intel based Macs for the uh, Mac uh, operating system. You need two gigabytes of hard drive space and you need one gigabyte for 32-bit and two gigabytes for 64 get 64 bit and it is recommended to have at least eight gigabytes if you're working on this if you have more that's great because especially if you're on a 64 bit because that is going to help out a lot if you only have a 32 bit then you only really need three to four mega or three to four gigabytes because the computer's not really going to be able to handle it and then remember i just went over the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit it, in that 64-bit can handle more amounts of RAM and give you better performance. So remember also the the uh, defaults, and you need to just delete out your preference file, and you'll just have to go back, because I del X'd out of the um, web page, to go back in the video and check out where the defaults are using the Adobe Help page. So thanks a lot, everybody, for work uh, watching the tutorial, and we're ready to get started in... Illustrator in our next tutorial and we'll be able to start going over the interface. Have a good one everyone.